Should have crossed Palmer Wise that shit. Right. <laughs> Quick. Um, it's it's Nick, right? Nick. Guy you bailed on pretty great kiss with. Nick, the loser who's lodged seventy hours at that coffee shop hoping to see you again. Now go for the coffee, give me this thing up. What are you showing me? Well, it's just it's here somewhere. My name tag. Ta da. You're a police officer. Yeah, yeah. I just start today. Ward. Officer Juliet Ward. Mm -hmm. Is Juliet even your real name? Look, just, just don't, okay? I knew that I was starting work in a month, and I didn't want to get involved with another cop. Another cop? You've been involved with a lot of cops. And Peter Mooney, who plays Officer Nick Collins, joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Peter, you don't need the uh, holster in the gun. Look at the guns you have going on there. <laughs> by the way. That's how cops come up on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a good spin. Mm -hmm. uh, last time you were here, you mentioned that you rolled up somewhere in uniform, costume, and got a free coffee. So how's that yes. working out? Is it any more freebies? It's great. Yeah, how does Tim Hortons go out? And I try to say, like, oh, no, because we don't have the red stripes. That's our oh, that's yeah. our giveaway. Do you have, like, people stopping you on the street and needing help? Or can you people hand ask for directions? Yeah, and Greg, Greg and I once, we were we were witnesses to a car accident. And we both, like, left out of the car. And we're like, okay, I got this. And we divided up and we we're checking on people. And then when the real cops got there, we're like, we, we got this. Yeah, we stopped. years ago where our station vehicle was actually like a fake cop car yeah and it was the most frustrating thing in the world because everybody does a speed limit around right, it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. anywhere yeah. so the new season starting tomorrow do you get all the scripts right away or do they t try to hold things back from you guys so it doesn't leak out we tend to get the scripts a day or two before we have the read through which is usually the day before we start shooting that episode so we're we're on tender hooks throughout the season as, you know, we have kind of a rough idea as to where it might be heading, but we get all the same surprises that the audience gets as well. Because right, I always wonder about that. Do you, have, uh, after playing a character for a no number of seasons, do, do you get any input? Do you want input into a, to your story arc or where the character's going? The, the writers on Rookie are great, and it's a very collaborative atmosphere, and it's a constant dialogue with them. Uh, but ultimately, when we get the scripts, it's always a bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you want to say, I'm alive? I'm alive. Yeah, really, you want to get shot? You want to get shot? What happens here? I was looking at your Twitter. You were loving Mad Max. Loving Mad Max. Over the yeah. weekend. Is it, do you watch movies differently as an actor? Like, you know, oh, man, that was a cool sort of way they decided to go with that. I do, and I've been doing, my poor girlfriend, I've been doing a Mad Max impression for the past three days. I Amazing. Just, I, I just, oh, right, come on, you got to see it. I man. can't stop. <laughs> Max, my name is Max. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's a real turn, isn't it, this film? Because I, I was very, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, a lot of people go in thinking it's just the, you know, the same old, same old, like the Mel Gibson Mad Max, mm -hmm. but it's really a, kind of a piece of feminism in a way, isn't it? That's what I thought. It's it's so smart and it's so well done and so so progressive in so many ways. It was really exciting to see, see right. it on that scale, yeah. I know. Huh? Okay, you're going to take us through a little game, right. are you? You ready for this? It's called Rookie Mistakes. <clears throat> So yeah, these are some real laws. Some of these are real, some of these aren't, that exist right now in Canada. So you got to decide if it's true or false. Okay. You ready? Okay. It is illegal to whistle in Petrolia, Ontario. Illegal to whistle in Petrolia. I've never heard of that place. False. True. It's in fact true. I was like, that one is so weird just from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Now, it's also illegal to attach a bell to your bike in Sudbury, Ontario. You ask for true or false? Uh, that's got to be false because the bell's a safety measure. Yeah. yeah, you need a bell. Don't say that's true. Right, that's right, false. Right, right. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It is illegal to skinny dip in your backyard pool in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, I'm going to say that that's true, but it shouldn't be. Skinny dipping should never be allowed. It's false. Hey! <laughs> it's no, false. you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to say that's true, buddy. It's us, BC. Here's a go. It's illegal for taxi drivers to wear a T-shirt in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Legal to wear a T-shirt in Halifax if you're driving a cab. Uh, it doesn't make sense, so that's why it's true. Hang on, it is true. Uh, it is in fact uh, true. Uh, let's see. All right, it's illegal to have chickens in your house in St. John's, Newfoundland. Live, I'm assuming. It probably isn't, but it should be. So I'm going false. <laughs> it's false. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, all right, last one. It's illegal to put up a for sale sign.
sign on a moving vehicle in Montreal? False. True. True. Nice. Just saying, depending on the number while you're driving. Yeah, exactly. Especially driving in Montreal. I thought we were Quebec drivers. You could do anything on the road. Yeah, I know. They don't yeah. mess around. <laughs> uh, Peter Murphy, one of the stars of Rookie Blue. They start their new season tomorrow here on Global. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. And All thank right. you so much, Liza and Jeff, for that interview.